Well, I want to ask you, you mentioned side effects. Um, the side effects for the Moderna vaccine sound concerning. We looked. After the second dose, at least 80% of participants experienced a systemic side effect, ranging from severe chills to fevers. So are these vaccines safe? Well, the, uh, the FDA not being pressured will look hard at that. The FDA is the gold standard of regulators uh, and their current guidance on this if they stick with that is is very very appropriate uh and you know the it the 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 side effects were not super severe that is it didn't cause permanent health problems for uh the things that are, they you know moderna did have to go with a fairly high dose and so uh you know to get the antibodies some of the other vaccines uh are going able to go with lower doses to get uh, responses that are are pretty high, including the the J and J and the Pfizer, and so there's a lot of characteristics of these vaccines. Um, it's great that we have multiple of them uh, that but are Bill, going out there. And, and yes, I you, think you know the data the better than I do. But the bill, Bill, the, the data showed that everybody with a high dose had a, a side effect. Yeah, but some of that is is not dramatic. Where you know it's just you know, super painful, but yes, there, we need to make sure there's not severe side effects. The FDA, uh, I, I, I think will do a good job of that, uh, despite the pressure. How many doses of the vaccine will we need? Well, none of the vaccines at this point appear like they'll work with a single dose. That was the, the hope at the very beginning, uh, Maybe one of them, particularly in the second generation, won't surprise us. We hope just two, although in the elderly, sometimes uh, it, it takes more. And, and so making sure we have lots of elderly people in the trial will give us that data. You've said some more than 7 billion doses. That's what we'll need. Well, if, if what you're trying to do is block all the transmission, then you need to get you know, 70, 80% coverage on a global basis. So that, you know, it's gig unbelievably big numbers. I mean, you're talking about a global vaccination program without a vaccine that hasn't been fully developed yet and a massive scaling up of how to produce one or several vaccines. I mean, it's just, it's mind boggling to think about this effort. But the, the private companies have stepped up uh, the science has been advanced. The, you know, the U.S. funds biological research more than any other country. We've stepped up to fund these vac vaccine manufacturers. The plants are being worked out now. Uh, you know, in 2021, I, there's a good chance this can get done. And because, you know, this is about the billions that we need to spend to save, to save trillions and avoid all those deaths.